In this video, we're going to be having a look at the first year for the math syllabus, and in particular, the roots of polynomials topic, all to do with the alphas, the betas, the gammas, etc. So just look at this here. I've laid out all the different types that you can expect to find in the first year syllabus. A quadratic, a cubic, and a quartic. It can go as high as quartic. So when a general quadratic, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals naught, has roots alpha, beta, first thing we should do in an exam question is write out all the facts to do with the a's, the b's, and the c's. So the first thing we're going to write is minus b over a, always negative. Minus b over a is the sum of all the singles of the roots. So it's the sum of all the singles. So it's alpha plus beta, sum of all the single roots. Likewise, for a cubic, Minus b over a is the sum of all the singles, alpha plus beta plus gamma. And for the quartic, minus b over a, again the sum of all the singles, alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Okay, so now, if we're presented with a quadratic, c over a, and notice how the sign's flipped. So it's no longer negative, it's positive. C over A is the sum of all the doubles, all the pairs, products of pairs of roots. So alpha, beta, and that's it. That's the only product of pairs. In a cubic, C over A, the products of all the pairs. Well, there's lots of different combinations. Alpha, beta, plus beta, gamma plus gamma alpha. There's three possible pairs that we're going to sum. Right, now minus d over a. Now looking at this for the quartic. C over a. Again, the sum of all the possible pairs of roots. So alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma delta plus delta alpha plus delta beta plus gamma alpha. I can see there that there's six possible pairs. Convince yourself that I've got all the pairs there. Then finally, for the cubic, or minus d over a, because the sign here alternates, negative, positive, negative. So minus b over a is the sum of all the singles. c over a is the sum of all the doubles. So minus d over a must be the sum of all the triples. Alpha, beta, gamma, and that's the only triple there. But for the quartic, there's more than just one triple. So minus d over a equals alpha, beta, gamma, plus beta, gamma, delta, plus gamma delta alpha plus alpha gamma beta. Then moving on to E over A, changing the sign again, is the sum of all the quadruplets. Well, there's only one quadruplet here, alpha beta gamma delta. So just analysing what we've done here and looking at the pattern, the pattern runs throughout minus B over A, is always the sum of the single roots. So alpha plus beta, when there's three roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma. When there's four roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. C over A is the sum of the doubles. So alpha beta, all the doubles here, all the pairs of roots, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. And here, the doubles here, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma delta plus delta alpha plus delta beta plus gamma alpha. Minus d over a, the sum of all the triples. Well, the triples don't exist in quadratics because there's only two roots. In cubics, alpha, beta, gamma. And quartics, alpha, beta, gamma, plus beta, gamma, delta, plus gamma, delta, alpha, plus alpha, delta, uh, alpha gamma, beta. And finally, quadruplets, well, they don't exist for quad, uh, for quadratics or cubics. And there's only one for quartics, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So let's have a look now at an example 
of applying this to an exam question. So looking at this question here, all to do with the quadratic, it says the root of the quadratic equation x squared plus x minus 8 equals 0, or p and q, find the value of p plus q plus 1 over p plus 1 over q. So as I said before, what we need to do now is write down all the facts to do with this quadratic and its coefficients. So we can see here that a equals 1, the coefficient of x squared is 1, b also equals 1, the coefficient of x is 1, and c, the number on its own, is minus 8. So minus b over a, i.e. the sum of all the singles of the roots, is p plus q, which is minus 1 over 1, which is minus 1. So we've got p plus q is minus 1. Changing the sign, and moving on the sequence, c over a, the sum of all the doubles, equals pq, we know that from before, which is equal to minus 8 over 1, which is minus 8. So therefore we've got pq is minus 8, and we've got p plus q is equal to minus 1. So they're the key bits of information that we're going to use in a second. So let's just put a box around those. These will be used throughout the course of the question. P plus Q is minus 1, and PQ is minus 8. So we're now being asked to find this quantity here, P plus Q plus 1 over P plus 1 over Q. Well, the P plus Q part we've already got, we already know that that bit is minus 1. So this bit here, we've got... It's just the 1 over p plus 1 over q that we need. But notice that if we add the fractions, 1 over p plus 1 over q equals, well, if I times this one by q over q, common denominator would be pq. So times the first one by q, get that. Times the second one by p over p, I get that equals, well no, I've got it, because q plus p, I know, I know that that is minus 1, and pq, the bottom, I know from my roots of polynomials, from my coefficients, that that's minus 8, equals 1 eighth. Therefore, p plus q plus 1 over p plus 1 over q, well I know here, that this bit is minus 1, and I know here that this bit is an eighth. So it equals minus 1 plus 1 eighth equals minus 7 eighths. So let's try another question now with a cubic. So it says show that alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha all squared is equal to that. So just a bit of algebra work here. So alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha times itself alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equals okay so we've got that times that so alpha squared beta squared that times that plus alpha beta squared gamma plus that times that plus alpha squared beta gamma. Then moving on the middle term, that times that, plus alpha beta squared gamma, that times that, plus beta squared gamma squared, plus that times that, which is alpha beta squared gamma. Sorry, it is alpha beta gamma squared alpha beta gamma squared and finally this term here alpha squared beta gamma plus alpha beta gamma squared plus alpha squared gamma squared and now tidying that up we've got alpha squared beta squared plus beta squared gamma squared plus gamma squared alpha squared so we've used these three terms here cover those 
And notice that all of these terms here remaining have alpha, beta, gamma in common. So we can take that out as a factor. Plus alpha, beta, gamma. And this first term here has an extra beta. So beta. Next term has an extra alpha. Alpha. Next term has an extra uh, beta again. Next term has an extra gamma. Next term has an extra alpha. Next term has an extra gamma. Equals alpha squared beta squared plus beta squared gamma squared plus gamma squared alpha squared plus alpha beta gamma. And notice there's two alphas in the bracket plus two betas and two gammas equals alpha squared beta squared plus beta squared gamma squared plus gamma squared alpha squared we'll take out a factor of two plus two alpha beta gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma as we were asked to do so we've shown that so now part two says that it's given that alpha, beta, and gamma are the roots of that cubic equation there. So before we go any further, we should write out all the facts, all to do with the coefficients. In this polynomial here, we'll have that the coefficient of x cubed is a, and it's 1. The coefficient of x squared is p. The coefficient of x is minus 4. And d, the number on its own, is 3. We're going to write down everything we know to do with that polynomial. So minus b over a is minus p. And minus b over a is always equal to the sum of the singles of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma. c over a, sum of all the doubles of the roots. So it's equal to minus 4 over 1, which is minus 4 equals alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha and finally minus d over a equals minus 3 over 1 which is minus 3 which is the sum of all the triplets alpha beta gamma and that's that so we've got three different identities now or rather three different equations that we can use to help us answer this question which is, given that alpha and beta gamma are the roots of that equation there, where p is constant, find the value of 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared plus 1 over gamma squared. So let's write that down. 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared plus 1 over gamma squared. And in situations like this, what you should do is add the fractions. So get a common denominator, alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared. This first one we times by beta squared gamma squared the second one we multiply by alpha squared gamma squared and the third one beta squared gamma squared so there is a trick here and this relates back to the original part because this expression here in the first part we proved this to be the case so if we rearrange this so let's just take a snapshot of it and move it further down. So I'll go back here. We proved that to be the case. And notice that this bit here matches this bit here. So we can rearrange this to say alpha squared beta squared plus beta squared gamma squared plus gamma squared alpha squared equals, and let's just take this expression here to the other side, equals alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha squared, take 2 alpha beta gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma. And notice all of these expressions we've got here. So this one I'm going to highlight blue, alpha plus beta plus gamma. I see that that's there. This one here, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. 
You can see that that one's there. And alpha, beta, gamma. You can see that one is there. So remembering what it is that we were asked to find, which is this here. This can now be rewritten as, so 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared plus 1 over gamma squared is equal to this line here, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha squared, take 2 alpha beta gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma. all over an alpha squared beta squared gamma squared can be rewritten as alpha beta gamma squared so now we've got everything we need to be able to do this so alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha was minus 4 so equals minus 4 squared take two lots of alpha beta gamma which was minus 3 times alpha plus beta plus gamma, which was minus p. With the denominator of alpha beta gamma all squared, so minus 3 all squared. And tidying that up, we've got 16. Triple minus, so it makes a minus 6p over 9. And that's as far as it will simplify. So there we have it, uh, roots of polynomials question with a cubic. So the algebra can be quite in-depth, but if you follow these steps, it should work each time.